What's up everybody, Zim Zapper 12 here, bringing you back with another episode of Naruto Shippuden and Ultimate Ninja Storm for beginning and master tutorials. If you don't if you don't know what beginning of tutorials, this is basically I choose one character out of the whole roster. I tell you guys everything I know about that character. I teach you everything I can about that single character. Now, today we're actually gonna be doing one of my favorite characters in the an in the Naruto anime, which is Sai. So Sai is he's he's not really a character you have to think too much about. He, he's, he's more of a cheese character. He's more of a, he's more of a cheese character. You can do a lot of cheesy things with him, and that's kind of the reason why I like playing him so much in the game. Because he he's very cheesy of what he does. He might like he probably grabs, probably tails, probably does a combo, probably just throws it out. But he's mainly just he, he's not really an attack. He's more of just support, a very good support. And I'm gonna tell you more about that once you get into the uh, get in more depth with with, with Sai. But make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you did enjoy yourself today. And make sure to tell me who else you want me to do for the next episode. But without further ado, let's get started. So like I said, Sai is pretty he's he's pretty much a support type role, but he he he's a good support type role. So what I mean by this, like he he can he can dish out some damage, but it's not the most. And, but he's mainly good for setup combos for the rest of his teammates, which is basically Sa Sasuke and Naruto on my team. So I will put him probably at a def uh, defense and technique type because uh, defense types are pretty much the characters you want to go into when you have no sub. They're good at keeping the opponent away, which Sai is really good at. Plus, he is really good at linking up combos for his teammates. And if you don't know what technique types are, technique types are just the characters that have a special ability that I call special ability in Naruto or in this game that have a really special ability in their fighting style. And Sai, he actually has a, he's a technique type because he actually has weird things going on. Like for example, if I can get it off, this air combo. This air combo is unique to him, and I'm gonna explain more about it. Why it's so good. And plus, like his hitbox on his at uh, the end of his neutral combo, his tilt has a weird hitbox, but it's all it's all his playing style. It's all unique to his playing style. So that's why I call him a technique type. So let's get started. So first, of all, I'm gonna turn all of these on. There we go. And let's just start with this combo. So here's his neutral combo. All right. Course, course, course. Leave him just right back. Then we're going to his down combo. And here is his up combo. Now, okay, so I'm just saying right now, I have not found anything of the up combo, so I'm just gonna leave that out from now on uh, from the, uh, for this character because I can't, I couldn't find anything. But let's go with the neutral combo. So the neutral combo for Sai is very long. I'm not even joking, and it is is very long, and it's it's much longer than the down combo. So. Mainly, I wouldn't rec recommend using it, but this combo is very good when you link it up with the strike back. It's really good. So, if you do if you do a neutral combo and you have a strike back in your team, do that strike back thing. Go straight into the air. It does a it, it does a lot more than the down combo. It does a really a lot more. So the down combo does it does more than the neutral combo alone by itself. But if you have a strike back with the neutral combo, I highly recommend you doing. Neutral combo because it you can combo with some pretty crazy stuff. And I'll talk about that more as we get like in his other stuff. But um, again, with the, uh, with the neutral combo, at the end of a neutral combo, where he spits or where he cradles birds, those actually have a gigantic hitbox actually. So even if the birds miss, it the the last the last hit will still come out. So like. Even if these birds miss, the final hit will still come out, and that's what's crazy about this combo because it's like you don't really need to hit the birds. You can just let those miss, and your opponent is all the way across the map. This bird will literally still just come out on them, which is kind of crazy. So I just want to mention that you can kind of like bait your opponents into taking this taking this bird, even if they're not in front of you. Which is very weird. I'm not sure that just I'm not sure that's just glitchy or something, or is that, is that an actual thing? But it's just something I want to point out because you can actually bait your opponent's sub. So like you can like so like let's 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 say Itachi was gonna sub 
right now. If, if he subs right now, and right behind me, and I pull out my last hit, it will still hit him. That's the crazy thing. So like, if he subs right now, the birds miss right now, the final hit, the gigantic eagle will still come out, which is, is, is actually kind of crazy. Let's move on to the down combo. That's all I could find on the up combo, on the neutral combo, I'm sorry. So the down combo, this is the fastest, weird is it's the fastest and the strongest. It's, it's the good burst of damage. So it, the good thing about this combo I really like is that it's really fast. It's really, really fast. That's that's kind of what you want in mostly all the characters. A strong, fast combo. This this combo does give dish out a lot of it. But like I said before, uh, I rather use neutral combo if you have a strike back. And let me tell you, I really recommend you having a strike back beside once uh, once I talk about him a little bit more. But uh, let's go with this air combo now. So his air combo, like I said, is very unique to him only because I've never seen an air combo like this. So this air combo, he flips him up. So his his, his original air combo is just two hits, just like that. Like you see right there, just two hits, just flips them up. But then you keep pressing the additional button, summons the bird, rivals on that bird, puts out multiple birds, and then use that bird he's right on to charge into your his opponent, which is pretty crazy. So, um, I'm gonna just be honest, I use Psy a lot in this game, and never before have they been able to catch me while riding this bird. Now I'm not sure if you I'm I'm not sure if you can. I, I'm not I'm not too probably sure if you can't either, but as as long as I've been playing Psy in um Storm Revolution and Storm 4, I have never seen anybody catch me off while I'm riding this bird. So I'm just gonna assume that you can't. Because I never I never got caught in this bird. Maybe you guys have, but I never have so I'm just gonna assume that you can't you can't get touched while you're riding this bird. But if that is the case, that means that you can actually just get a free sub off, off this air combo, which is pretty neat. So let's see, you go to the air combo, and because the air combo is only two hits, it's actually very fast. It's really fast. So you go into the cutscene, they sub it, and you get and you and you just you just get out of there. It's a gadget of free card and they just make their subs. So this air combo is actually very good, and that's why I said this is very unique to side, because no one in this no one in this character roster has this crap. And that's that's it's, it's actually pretty good. It's, and it does decent damage for an air combo, so it just makes it makes Sai even more lovable. God, I love this character. Oh, forgot to mention, also this fish right back. I almost better to mention that. Yeah, um, apparently this combo leads up to the strike back as well. If you get uh, the hit off full screen, so if it doesn't hit any corners, it just for, it um it just the strike back. So let me see if I can try it. Uh, does this work? No, I need I need to get him in the middle. If I can, can I just step 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 behind you, Tachi? No, it won't let me. Okay, but yeah, yeah, but, uh, I I pretty much explained to you everything about the air combo. It's pretty much just a get out of your free card, and if you go on full screen of the map then it will transfer into a shrine back which is pretty neat so i just um probably um playing some of the more bigger maps you can get the shrine back off more often instead of like you gotta like instead of like placing your opponent right at the edge of the map and then you pushing it right towards the middle so you can get a shrine back off it's too hard so just just play on a big map besides so you can get off the shred back and just have yourself a little advantage all right so now we're gonna move on to his tilt and his grab so let's go into his tilt first. So his tilt is literally he summons a pack of lions. They eat that booty and they stomp on him. And it does pretty good damage for a tilt. So this tilt is actually long when you do the full thing. But here is another special thing why I call Sai a technique type. Um, this hitbox on this tilt is massive. It is so big. Look at that. I'm all the way back here, yet it still hits Itachi. It still hits him. So the so the best thing about this tilt, again, this is from experience. The best thing about this tilt is that every time your opponent gets caught in this tilt, your opponent subs. Unless unless your opponent is smart. Unless he's really smart, your opponent will pretty much always sub this tilt for some odd reason. Even though it does no damage, they just don't like being caught in this trap. So. Here's what I like to do. This is just just my little thing. I wanna. I always like to grab, then go into a strike back. You know, it, it will go into a strike back, or not. Maybe I use the part this way. Oh 
Okay, there we go. Go to the strike back, and then go straight into my tail. And then they always sub right there. They always do. And when they do sub, I always switch my character, and then just go and just dash, dash out of it, and just go and get another sub. So like this. So try back. All right, I need to get out of this corner here. If it's there, you go. Those, there you go. Try back. Tail away from the sub, and then just do that right there. Do that right there because if they do sub, then you're gonna switch to your other character to cancel the tilt, and then dash towards your character and get another sub off your character. The edge is something I this is something I normally do, just you know, as as a, as a side player. But um, this tilt is massive. But the one thing that is bad about it is that you can't cancel it. So once you're doing this tilt, it's kind of stuck in there. Unless you switch your character, that's 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 the only way. That's that's only you cancel this tail. So switch your character, and then bam, you cancel the tail. Probably switch back to side when you're ready. But uh, that's the 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 good thing is this thing has a massive hitbox. Like I can help from all the way from here, and it lasts for a pretty long time too. So long tilts like those, your opponent is pretty much almost gonna always gonna sub. So I say use. I would say use this at the end of strike backs and use this when you when you feel it's necessary like at this type of range. Cause it probably will hit. I'm not even joking. And if they're guarding against it, let me see. If they're if they're guarding like this, just switch just switch another character and just do like this. You can get a grab off. It's like if it's like this, well, just like that. Because if they're guarding, you can just switch your character and get a grab off. Unless it depends on the character because it is. some people have short grabs and long grabs, but uh, yeah, you just do this. Okay, is this really not enough range for Sasuke? Seriously, there we go. They must have fixed that. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much like that. It, there's really no w the way to combo into it besides just my personal opinion is doing it from a strike back. But you can do you can do what you want. Oh. A good thing that I did that combo because I almost just forgot to mention. Sai actually has two infinite combos, and I don't think anybody knows about this. At least um, by my knowledge, I don't think so. So yeah, Sai has two infinite combos. I almost forgot to show you in the neutral combo. So I'm gonna show you. Here's the first one. And this is the one I I found a revolution. I always was doing to my opponent. It was so trolly. Right here. So. You do the you do the neutral combo for not 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 the tail, not the tail. Okay, until the ninth hit, where he like just kicks the opponent away, and then you just jump, and then you just start the combo over again. Because apparently, the force the force from the kick pushes you towards the opponent. Yeah, that's physics. Just like that. So that's his first infinite combo. His second infinite combo is where he shoots out. Uh, the bird, I think. Cause I, I was just doing it earlier. Let me see. I think it's the first bird you jump. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's it's the second bird, and you kind of have like jump fast with this. So I don't, I don't recommend using that second. I don't recommend really using that infinite combo. But this one right here. Right there, that's that's that, that that's a little, like a legit infinite combo. So I recommend you doing this infinite combo because it actually does rack up a, a good amount of damage. Or if you're just waiting for your opponent to sub, just keep doing this infinite combo and just wait for it. Just kind of bait it out a little bit. All right, so now we're going to his grab. So his grab is actually one of the one of the side trademarks. Again, this is a, only equipped to side. He jumps on his opponent, flips him over, throws a bird at him, and then strikes back him. And then that's why I said do this tilt and then just wait for a sub and everything. But you can pretty much do whatever you want at that point. But the, the best thing about size grab is, is this is amazing. Uh, is he literally just leaps on him. He just, he just jumps on him. That's that's the crazy part. He just jumps on him and it actually does go some distance too. And this is like one of the things that people hate about Sai in the community because that jump, especially when you have a strike back, is cancerous. It's it's <laughs> it's actually just good, and there's, I mean, there is ways to combo into it, but I would just say have fun with it and just try to get off as best as possible. 
because it is a and it is a very long grab you can do so yeah there's really there's really no reason to combo it because you can literally just leap on them and just if you have a strike back you can just keep spamming this freaking strike back out all day so i would say just use it just use it don't even try to combo into it just use it when you think you're close and it will hit but just just like that now i'm not sure this will work if they're jumping but i do know it will work if they're on land all right, so now we're going to his Jutsu. So, Sly actually has two Jutsu. He has the Super Beast Scroll. He just throws out three lions. And also, let's just right back as well. And he also has the third one, which is Charged Up Raging Lion. Which, of course, does more damage, of course, more lions. So, um, this Jutsu, it is not the best damaging. And um, it racks up damage the more lions hit. So that means if one of the lions hit, and it's, it's probably going to be less damage. It's probably going to be like, I don't know, the damage of a grab. But if all three hit, it's probably going to be the damage of a, a, a neutral combo. Or a Rasengan, or something like that. It's going to be the damage of that. So this, these things are not really for damage. But these things have the best tracking in the universe. So, let me see. Um, uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Be right back. Actually, no, no, it's, I should be logged in. Uh, yeah, I should be logged in. Yeah, here we go. Okay, yeah, so, good thing I don't need to cut. So, I can just, so I have my PS2 controller. I'm not PS, I have my PS4 second controller. So, I'm gonna attempt to dodge the lines with my Itachi. You see right here. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to dodge. So, let me see if I can try to do this. Look at that. So, as you see, they we're in mid-range right now, so I'm trying to dodge sideways as Itachi. One of the fastest characters in this game. And I can't. I can't. So these lions actually do have amazing tracking. I'm not even joking. They actually do have tracking. So if you they don't do it at long range like this. But if you use that mid-range thing, yeah. Mid-range is where you want to be shooting the things at, and if they attempt to dodge it, it's gonna fail because you can't dodge these. Because there's three chances of you getting hit by these lions, and they all have amazing tracking. So let me see, actually let me see if this is long range. Let me see. Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah yeah you can't do a long range, but mid range is the, this is your stuff you, right here. You, you can't do anything. And if you charge it up, there's no way you're gonna get out. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna get out. So yeah, I highly recommend just. It's, it's not really something you can combo into with Sai. It's, it's really just cheese. It's, it's, that's why I call him like a, a sort of cheese character. You can pretty much do what you want. It's, it's, there's not really a strict rule you have to do with Sai. Just if they're, if they're close enough, use the super, use the super scroll and they have to block it or they're gonna get hit. It's, it's pretty much that simple. Now, they could jump over it, but these lions, they're kind of fast and they, are actually pretty good at tracking so yeah you could just do that but uh I don't I I, I would you just have you just have to you just have to block it or else you don't get hit with these lions because there's no way you can dodge these lions at mid-range or close range so there's really like no rule to hit these lions pretty much just do it at mid-range and it will hit unless they jump over it or unless they block it this is one of those so I recommend whenever you do a down combo or grab or anything just do the just shoot super beast scroll every time they're on the ground super beast scroll so like uh, let me uh, let me just, how to turn the Naruto off. Naruto off well I don't know how to turn Naruto off uh, I think if I use the team team super then it will erase my strike back so I'm gonna do, do that Plus, I wanted to do this anyway. Let me look at this team, team ultimate. I love how they just force Sasuke in, in, to do this. Gotta say, probably one, probably one of the best ultimates. But uh, oh, I didn't get rid of my. T I, okay, just forget about it. I'm about to say, can Naruto like? I don't know, stop being strike back, but I guess he can't. But I guess we're gonna move on straight into his ultimate jutsu. So his ultimate jutsu is actually 
fairly simple to connect those two. It's basically just the infinite combo, and then just cancel it with the ultimate juicy, so. Oh, I messed up. One more time. Infinite combo, and it, it connects up. She's still way again in the way. But yeah, it's, it's just basically like that. Just do, do the infinite combo, and then just cancel it with your ultimate juicy. I'll show you guys one more time. Call, call. Now, I gotta say, this ultimate juicy is just visually not the best one. <laughs> It's just not good. Look, it just doesn't look good. It's, 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 it looks bland and boring. So he summons a bunch of lions and birds and stuff. But yeah, let's move on straight to his tilt. So I'm nice tilt. His awakening. Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, I think I got everything. Okay, so size, uh, size uh, awakening is fairly basic. It's really basic. Um, the only thing that changes, really, is his, uh, right and left triggers on, on the, right here, I can move right, right there, the lower left part of the screen, and it's basically just he summons these two giant men charging at them, charging at him, and they do fairly a good amount of damage, so, here's the weird part, you're gonna have to and he's awakening, you're gonna have to play really smart. Like, or smart cheesy. You're gonna have to really cheese them away. So, like this. Sai has no really good way of guard breaking. He has no real way of guard breaking. So, instead of guard breaking, I say every time they guard, you just grab. Just just like that. So, let's, let's just assume that they're not guarding, for instance, and they have no subs. Um, the, the, the most thing you wanna be doing with Sai is at the end of the neutral combo, use one of your men and then charge straight up into your Jutsu. So, oh yeah, yes. Okay, before I do this, I wanna mention that one other thing that changes is if you charge up Sai's Jutsu, he actually summons a bird, an undo a undodgeable bird that he summons with his dog. Just wanna mention that. All right, so here's, here's what you wanna do. I'm gonna show you. There we go. So, I just showed you everything you want to be doing. So, let's say Itachi get no subs. And, uh, I'm gonna turn guard back on. There we go. So, what you wanna be doing is, um, first, you wanna be doing the neutral combo where he spits out two birds. Then, you wanna be canceling into one of your Omega Fizzes. They, that will, they will push them back a lot. There we go. Then you want to charge up your jutsu, and then they're pre they pre once they get hit by your two men of death, and you charge your old charge up your jutsu, they're they're pretty much they can't move. They can't move. They're immobilized, so they have no choice but to block it. But if they don't block it, they're kind of stupid. Block it or sub it. They're kind of stupid if they don't if they don't block it. So once the, so once you do this, you want to charge cancel it, charge in, and then grab them in that order. Because if they do block it, of course. Okay, I, I kind of need you to block. There we go. There we go. So, like... Oh, well, he's not far away from me. So, like, if he blocks right here... Grab. Dash in, then grab. So, this, this is kind of like a cheese move. So, like, pretty much every time they grab, you want to be throwing. And you want to get these men off. So, like... If they have subs, like as, as they do right, if they, if they have subs, I suggest you like get a little bit of damage and then freaking do one of your men. Like this, do one of your damage before they sub, cancel to your jutsu, and then just grab them. Again, just keep doing the same thing over and over again. So this is how it should look, um, this is how it should look when it's all put together. Alright, let's try this. There we go. I want you to block now, Itachi. Block now. Just like that. Everything I just did, I want you to do. Everything I just did right now. So, once you do the neutral combo, charge, charge your Jutsu to full, and they're pretty much have to block it or sub it. And when, they, when you do, just dash in and grab. And you pretty much just do that 
all the time. When they, whenever they, whenever they block, you you grab them. Whenever they, you ever get like two hits, two hits of your combo, you use the men and use your jutsu until waste your subs and get some damage off. So that's basically that's basically it for Sai. He's basically just a cheese character. He's easy. He's just very cheesy. And you can play him freely where, wherever you want. So this is the end of this tutorial. Make sure to tell me who else you want me to do for the next tutorial. My name is Udo12. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.